The Vigor side of the Aurelia is just terrific. We grow our seed rate, it's a vital part of our rotation. Um, leaves the soil in great condition for growing the first wheat. It's It'll be our best gross margin crop. Um, we find it fairly straightforward to grow, not having the flea beetle issues that some people do. It's simple and straightforward for us, really. We are growing all hybrid varieties. Uh, we're using LG Aurelia. We probably find that Aurelia to be one of the better performing varieties. We've grown it exclusively for the last two years. We've not felt the need to try anything else yet. The vigor side of the Aurelia is just terrific. find it's just got a great package. Um, the conventional varieties, we're, we're sowing quite wide bands. We've noticed the conventionals where we struggled to branch into those gaps, whereas the, the hybrids just get moving and get branching. They branch lower down and they fill those gaps up brilliantly. We're establishing it using a five-leg subsoiler with a set of disc cooters behind the pack of roller. And two years ago, we started lightly cultivating some hen, like hen manure in the top kind of two inches and then seeding into that. And we find we're getting far more consistent results than just using the subsoiler straight into the barley stubbles. It's just given us a far more even establishment um, and leaving a far more even crop in the winter. I think the biggest challenges in our area at the minute are probably establishment. Um, August has recently developed into being one of the wetter months of the year and we're obviously trying to establish oilseed rape then. If we can get it in the ground and get it away, pigeons can be a problem, but they're manageable. Cabbage stem flea beetle at the minute for us. We're seeing bits of larvae damage, but nothing that's causing us to lose crops. Um, so I would say probably establishment. We put a huge value on pod chatter. We are, bulk of our ground is around a disused airfield, so it's very, very flat and very, very open. Um, so we are using pod chatter resistant varieties as well as pod sticks, just as a belt and braces covering all bases. If we get held up at harvest time, that seven, eight pound a hectare could be the difference between losing three quarters of a tonne to the ground. So it's definitely worthwhile. So spring crop nutrition wise, we'll be looking to get all, well, 90% of the crop's sulphur requirement on as early as we can. Once the MBZ window's lifted, get that applied and then apply the rest of the nitrogen, two or three splits with liquid um, and it's got sulphur in it as well. We found from the yen last year that we were probably a bit behind with the boron and molybdenum. So I think a bit more leaf testing this year and try and keep ahead of the, the plant's needs. Um, that's probably our biggest aim this year, is just try and be ahead of it the whole time.